There are literally uh, thousands, tens of thousands of dams in the U.S., and many of them have uh, benefits to us. We get our drinking water from them, we recreate on them, they help with uh, flood control. But uh, a lot of times these dams no longer serve a useful purpose, and I think at that point uh, you got to have dam removal as uh, a part of the discussion. So um, the dam removals that are happening, that have already happened here, you have the Fifth Avenue just downstream of us and then the Main Street further downstream. What's great about what OSU is doing and Majeka's study is that he's looking at um, a few years before the dam was removed to get a baseline of what's going on. And then after removal, he'll go in and do similar measurements and he's gonna look at the biology, chemistry, and, um, and see what's going on with the water quality and with the species, because what you would expect after you knock a dam out is that you're gonna see a lot of the river species coming back into the section that's been restored, is what we would expect to see here. So um, the fact that this is on OSU's campus and that the students are right on top of the restoration project is just a great opportunity for OSU to, to do a great project on the benefits of dam removal. So we've developed a great partnership with OSU where they are able to spend a lot of time, look at issues in detail and help us make management decisions. So the fact that we can fund a graduate student at OSU and that's all they're focusing on and um, they can do a really good job and come out with a really good results and um, having the expertise of the professors there, I just think is a win-win for um, uh, the department and for OSU. What I'm hoping is with these projects being so highly visible that people see the benefits of before and after and that the after is uh, pretty darn cool and um, that that's a better state and that's where the river should be.